Hey guys, uh, hope things are going well. Just going to do a little update on the tanks. Uh, you can see I've gotten a fair bit of painting done for this thing. I've still got to go in and paint the uh, the big icon in the back. I plan on honestly, I plan on play, painting that white, which will be a big pain in the ass, but uh, that, that's what I'm going to do. Um, been working on the little cockpits for these as well. Um, definitely, I'm going to glue them in just because these things falling out will eventually just chip all over the place. So that's definitely going to get painted. Uh, I have yet to figure out what I'm going to paint the head of the missiles. Probably bright yellow or red, maybe orange. Just something to give them a, a splash of color as it goes down the thing. I can see I've got some of the uh, keyboard done. I'm debating whether to paint the upper dashboard green just to give some interior color variation. I, th I think I'll probably just keep it tan just for time's sake. But but yeah, uh, this guy, this 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 tank is closer to done. I've still got to pick out the skulls and the, the exhaust ports here, and uh, <clears throat> do some fine tuning of the the stuff and write on the banners and all just all the the fiddly bits that come with the tank. Um, you see this one hasn't gotten nearly as much done on it. Uh, it doesn't have any of the ribbons or the fleur de -lis. But I did go uh, bronze with one and silver with the other. Just that the tanks can be different. Um, I'll paint the ladies. I'll give them two different hair colors. Probably brown for the bronze and silver for the silver. Nice older lady uh, for the other tank. But, but yeah, those are going along well to the point where I'm actually building my, uh, my Night Titan. As you can see, I've done a little bit of uh, uh, non-standard construction methods here. Uh, basically, what I did is I drilled a hole through the bottom of this that was the diameter of this screw. Well, I did a pilot hole that was much smaller than carved it out with a, 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 uh, an X-Acto knife because um, it's really hard to drill through plastic without the drill bit drifting a little bit one way or the other without a drill press which I don't have uh, which I guess one day I'll get but not today but um, but yeah I did that and then in the interior of the top I put a, a washer uh, this bolt is a quarter inch and the uh, hexagonal head is right here under the uh, the base of that sitting in a big pile of green stuff and the interior here is mostly padded with green stuff so that I can stay it, it's supporting the bolt uh, inside of this is green stuff as well so that it gives it a nice uh, back and forth support and the washer uh, you can see it has green stuff all around it I'm debating whether or not to fill the bottom part with something else like a pourable resin or something but I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that that has potential to run through there's a lot of gaps in between the sides of this of the chassis and the last thing I want to do is have to clean up epoxy resin as it runs out but what this will do is it'll uh, rest in like that see as the it sits in with the bolt and it can it can actually spin if I want it to or if I find that to be obnoxious uh, I can fill the interior here with an epoxy glue and that too and then just smush it down and that will give me a much sturdier interior lock than the original just little plastic nub. Uh, I had done this before on my Dark Eldar Ravager uh, fleet where they, they had the old flying bases for GW and they had so much metal on them that it, I, didn't even, I didn't even need to see online where those things failed all the time. Where other people say, oh these, these, these flying bases just fall to pieces. So um, I did that and that works really well. They, they work really good in the uh, and before my Dark Eldar, which I guess one day I'll eventually finish that army because the uh, the new rules are actually pretty good. Um, I have managed to play several games with my sisters at the 1500 point level, which gives me a pure sisters list. And as much work as I've put into these tanks, they have yet to really impress me with any sort of shooting on, on, the, on the battlefield. Uh, the D6 shots and then uh, D3 damage when they actually wound it puts a whole bunch of random in there and you really can't wound anything reliably. Uh, I do hope they get uh, get tweaked in the codex when it comes out in a year uh, and get more. I would rather 
I maybe be able to shoot different types of missiles, um, like say, get reliably shoot four strength five missiles versus, or 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 two D three strength uh, strength eight shots, you know, something like that. Uh, I've only had one round where I did a significant amount of damage with that one, and that's when I, uh, after reading the rules, I had to disallow that round. Uh, because you know I'm still still learning how the how the sisters will work, and uh, I had shot these with an act of faith, and the exorcists don't have the act of faith keyword, so they can't do acts of faith, and uh, so that that again that, that reduces a little bit of their power because you know one d6 shots is is a little random, a little a little worrisome. You know you might get something good, you might not. Uh, D6 shots with an act of faith and then another D6 shots with normal shooting round at least gives you an average you'll at least get two shots off with the, the, the organ pipes and that'll that'll give you a better chance because I mean when when they're doing invuln saves uh, you know you, the more shots you can get at them the, the 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 more likely you are to damage them so but but again yeah it's I need to I need to play more games uh, I got I got three games in with the sisters these past couple weeks and so it's not it's not too bad uh, I can't do it this week my wife is out of town for a baby shower for her sister and next weekend I'm actually taking a buddy of mine golfing so we we'll, won't we'll be able to do it then but at a later date I should be able to play play them a little bit more hopefully I can have at least the the bare bones of this built up uh, my plan to to paint and uh, to prime and paint the base of it and then do the armor panel separately and then put them all together after that so that way I don't have a minimum amount of masking or carefulness needed there's still some but you know, I don't want to have to do that the whole time but anyway that's just a quick update uh, to what I've got done still need to do the servitors that'll go back here in the backs of the tanks but they're they're still in their dark camo June 15th is my tourney date I need to remember to, to check in to see if I can get into the tournament actually he said the sp spots are running out I need to register, and if I don't register, then hey, whatever. I gotta have a I have a 2,000 point sisters army, no matter what. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys are having fun, and if you happen to play sisters and know of a good way to counter armor uh, other than spamming melta guns, uh, give me a shout out or at least put it in the comments or something. Just tell me, tell me what you can. Anyway, talk to you later, guys. Adios.